Hi, I'm Weston. I love talking about the Rangers, and I'm here to talk about game 35 of the regular season where the Rangers win 5-1 to over the Tampa Bay Lightning in a night where Artemi Panarin records his second hat-trick of the year, a night where Igor Shosturkin, on his birthday nonetheless, records probably his best game of the season to this point, and a night where the Rangers become the first team in the NHL to hit 50 points on the season. And they did it before the calendar changed. Oh, just such a glorious night. And all of this happens also while I got to be there. Shout out to my cousin Nathan, who is a Lightning fan and had tickets to this game and had me come over. I got to go see this with him. And I'm not even going to take pot shots at it. I am just over the moon that I got to be there. And I cannot thank dear, dear, sweet cousin Nathan enough. Absolutely phenomenal night, mainly for me. I, I, I will take that little that little jab, mainly for me. So with the 5-1 score, one might initially assume that the Rangers absolutely destroyed the Tampa Bay Lightning, and I would not say that. I think the Rangers made the most of the chances they had. Five goals on 21 shots is really, really good. The Lightning had a lot of great opportunities in this game. Again, 35 shots, a lot of those were really, really good scoring chances. But before I get into praising Igor Shosturkin, which I will in a moment, the Rangers' defense, I thought, played a surprisingly good game, which, again, looking at the numbers for the Lightning sounds a little bit odd because 35 shots. The Rangers did a nice job this game defensively. There were a lot of sticks in the way of passes. They did a good job being on players to break up the receptions of passes and to get takeaways. They blocked a ton of shots. I want to get that number real quick because Truba, I thought, had a fantastic game blocking shots. The Rangers had 23 block shots in this game to the Lightning 7. Good Lord. I want to get Truba's real quick because I want to say he had at least five blocks in this game. Five blocks for Truba and four blocks for Eric Gustafson. Great games for the both of them. I thought Eric Gustafson low-key had a very, very nice defensive game. And Brandon Schneider, I thought, was pretty solid. He took one penalty that was kind of dumb. But the third pair did a really good job against the Lightning as well. But the Truba-Miller pair, specifically Jacob Truba, one of the best purely defensive games I've seen him play all year. It was a marvelous night for him. The Rangers' defense did a pretty darn good job in this game, despite allowing the 35 shots. And now we'll move to that, because the Lightning had 35 shots in this game. And if you look at the score, doesn't reflect that. Igor Shosturkin had, I, I will say, and I'm, I understand that there is a little bit of recency bias within this, and a little bit of bias because I got to watch it. I think that was the best game Shosturkin's played all year. Everything was working. His positioning looked really good. He was aggressive when he had to be. And he was oh so poised and patient when he had to be. Specifically, the pads and the blocker for Shesterkin tonight were just on as they have ever been on. I This is a really weird and niche thing to say. This might be one of the best blocker save games for Igor Shesterkin just so many times. He somehow, some way, despite the lightning chances, was able to get a little, just a piece of the blocker on it. And the only goal he allowed tonight was the third shot of a flurry, if I'm not mistaken, for Kucherov on a power play. And when it's a power play, I already have a hard time putting those on goalies. I'm also not going to eat the defense alive because, yeah... You'd love for someone to clear it. You'd love for Nikita Kucherov, of all people, to not be wide open like he was. But it's a power play, and he, I understand that he's a bit older and that he is not quite the player that he was. You can't sleep on Stamkos. You cannot just let the right side of a goaltender be anywhere near this open on a power play for the Lightning because he can still and still does make teams pay for that. So the goal was a good goal for the Lightning. It was a good fight for it, scramble in front. They did good things on it, but I'm also not going to lose sleep over it from the Rangers' perspective on account that it's a power play goal. It was a, just a mess in front. The Lightning kept poking away at it, and eventually they got it home. Now, the five Rangers goals. Uh, the first one was an Artemi Panarin goal. Lafreniere is not going to get a ton of praise from this because it was a nice finish from Panarin. It was a nice 
pass from Trocek, who had a fantastic night, by the way. That was a really slick little pass by Lafreniere. Back to Trocek, just kind of tossed it up, hoping to be a nice lead pass, and it happened to be a perfect lead pass to set up Trocek and Panarin for a two-on-one. The Rangers convert, it's one nothing. Then a little bit later on in the period, Jacob Truba fires it on net from the blue line, and Vincent Trocek being a pain in the butt net front, Gets on a rebound, his ninth of the year, and the Rangers take a 2-0 lead that would stand till very late in the second period. On a power play for the Lightning, bunch of madness in front. Eventually Nikita Kucherov gets a nice pass from Stamkos, fires it home. Shesterkin did all he could. He almost got a piece of it, but he just can't quite get over there. And that's when you kind of thought the bottom could fall out of the game. Because the Lightning had a lot of great chances in the second period. Shesterkin was standing on his head all the way. He, he stood on his head for all 60 minutes of this game, but specifically through the entirety of the second period. I thought that was probably the best chances the Lightning had all game came in the second. He did a marvelous job shutting them down, but all of a sudden the Lightning get a goal, momentum swinging for them. The Rangers need to respond and they do another three or another two on one. This one was set up a nice job by Blake Wheeler. Vincent Trocek gets it, settles it down, and a beautiful pass over to Chris Kreider. Finish. The Rangers retake a two-goal lead. That made it 3-1. to one. Then you go to the third period. Artemi Panarin from Vincent Trocek. This is something that you don't get to say very much. Artemi Panarin ate Victor Hedman alive on this play. Just, Victor Hedman does not get beat like that very often. Panarin... It was nearly a crime. And then a unreal shot to beat Vasilevsky. Rangers take a 4-1 to lead. Late in the period, the Rangers get a power play. And everyone knew. Everyone knew. It was feed Panarin the puck, try to get him the hat trick. And lo and behold, Fox passes it to Panarin, moves in. The little Panarin scooch, but this time he does not pass. He fires it home. His 23rd of the year, his third of the game. A few hats come out, and Art Emmy Panarin... A hat trick and I'm very I, I don't have the hat it's a little heartbreaking that I don't have the hat for this so unfortunate I'll have to bust that out in the next game to make up for it but our Temi Panarin gets the hat trick 5-1 Rangers and that would be your final score and coming off of last night's game where the Rangers played the Florida Panthers very close but still just so much to be desired so much kind of slop on the Rangers end to respond to that with this game where I can say what I will about the offense, I thought defensively they played very well. They tightened up a lot of that sloppiness. I thought they passed a good bit better, even though they only had the 21 shots. This was a very quality over quantity game for the Rangers offensively, and they showed that off. They had their two, two of their star players, I'll phrase it like that, and Panarin and Shesterkin just absolutely dazzle and steal this game for them. And it is a fantastic way to close out the 2023 calendar year for the Rangers. They will have two days off. They will not play again until Tuesday night, 7 p.m., back home in Madison Square Garden to take on the Carolina Hurricanes. And I will be here afterwards to talk about it. But as for right now, that is all I have to say. So if you enjoyed this video, please consider to like and subscribe. Thank you all so very much for watching. I hope you all have an absolutely fantastic day. And as always, go Rangers.